A drag teacher at a Texas high school? It's February 15th, 2024, and these are your headlines. Well, it's happened once again. Another Texas school is being exposed by the watchdog account Libs of TikTok, this time for employing a teacher that dresses in drag to school. Now, in a video shared on X, you see a male teacher at a Louisville ISD high school in North Texas roaming the halls of the school wearing a pink dress and a pink cowboy hat. Another post shows the teacher at the school dressed in an Ursula costume from the Disney film The Little Mermaid. And in another photograph, the science teacher shown sporting a sparkly red dress and high-heeled shoes, where else but at the school's prom. The libs of TikTok accused the school of allowing the teacher to break the school's dress code, which states that expected attire for prom is a dress shirt and tie, a suit and tie, or a tuxedo, right? Certainly not a sparkly red dress and high-heeled shoes. But Louisville ISD is no stranger to teacher scandals. Just last year, a former teacher of the year at a district elementary school faces up to 99 years in prison for allegedly sexually assaulting a 10-year-old child. As of publishing right now, Louisville ISD did not respond to a request for comment. Another school district, this time the Fort Worth Independent School District, well, they will be deciding on an abstinence-based sex education curriculum after going two school years without one. The District School Health Advisory Council, it's also called a SHAC, voted to recommend the absence-based sex education curriculum called Choosing the Best. The program's website states that its mission is to, quote, educate teens on the health advantages of delayed sexual activity and empower them to make the healthiest choices in order to reduce unplanned pregnancies and STDs, improving life outcomes for teens and their families. The program's been running since 1993 and has had more than 5 million students nationwide complete the course. Although the curriculum saw approval from many during the public review period held over the last four meeting prior to the Shack's vote, after the contents were made public, advocacy group Texas Values was quick to call out the program. The group was initially, initially approving of the curriculum. However, they now say that they have found out that the choosing the best curriculum has LGBT language, condom instruction, and Plan B abortion bill content, all details that they say they were not aware of before, and now that the publisher is refusing to remove the very concerning content. Texas Values is calling on parents and residents to take action and contact the Fort Worth ISD Shack and request that they remove the controversial language from the curriculum before it is approved. However, Lori Kukendall, who has served in the field of health education with Texas schools for 30 years, well, she told Texas Scorecard that the curriculum is actually a win-win for the district and families of Fort Worth ISD. She said, choosing the best has been a national leader in abstinence-centered education for many years. She said their curriculum is evidence-based, age-appropriate, and medically accurate. Most important for Texas schools, choosing the best aligns with all our state sex education laws found in the Texas Education Code and teaches all these student expectations in the health TEKS. Those are the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills. Now, choosing the best sex ed curriculum will be presented to the Fort Worth ISD School Board on February 27th. If you're not watching the Luke Messia Show, then you are not as engaged as everybody else is in Texas who's trying to make a difference, knowing exactly what's going on so that they can take action on the things that really matter. Guys, watch us on the Roku app for Texas Scorecard. Watch us on YouTube. Listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Get engaged, get more informed, so together we can actually make a bigger difference on things that matter for the future of Texas. God bless you. Last up, nonprofit organization Texans for Fiscal Responsibility has released their list of candidate endorsements for the primary election, focusing on who they say are the most fiscally responsible candidates in the race. A TFR's endorsements are decided based on candidates' answers to a questionnaire. The selection's endorsements include several candidates running for the Texas House. We'll go through them real quickly here. They have endorsed Dale Holes, who's challenging State Representative Gary Van Dever for House District 1 in Northeast Texas. Brent Money, running for House District 2, east of Dallas. Brian Harrison, running for re-election unopposed in House District 10, that's south of Dallas, Fort Worth area. Steve Toth, who's running for re-election against Skeeter Hubert for House District 15, north of Houston. Kyle Biederman, challenging State Representative Ellen Troxler for House District 19, west of Austin. 
Katrina Pearson is challenging State Representative Justin Holland for House District 33 that's east of Dallas. Debbie Duke running for State Representative Charles Anderson's soon-to-be-vacated House District seat. That's in Waco. Helen Kerwin, who's challenging incumbent State Representative Dwayne Burns for House District 58, southwest of Fort Worth. Mike Olcott was challenging State Representative Glenn Rogers for House District 60, west of Fort Worth. Carissa Richardson, she's challenging incumbent State Representative Frederick Frazier for House District 61, north of Dallas. You've got Shelley Luther, who's challenging incumbent Representative Reggie Smith for House District 62, that's northeast of Fort Worth, or north, north Texas there. Andy Hopper, as well, who's challenging State Representative Lynn Stuckey for HD 64, that's northwest of Fort Worth. Mitch Little, who is challenging State Representative Kronda Timich for House District 65 in North DFW. Darren Meese, who's challenging incumbent Representative Jeff Leach for HD 67, Northeast of Dallas. David Lowy, who is challenging State Representative Stephanie Click for House District 91, North of Fort Worth. And Tony Tinderholt, who is running for re-election unopposed for House District 94 in Arlington. For more of today's stories, head to texasscorecard.com.